Hi guys, uh, just an apology to start with. We've got a next door neighbour's puppy who keeps barking at us, so there's nothing I can do about that. Um, this is the third instalment of the um, video shooting tips and gear. Um, what I've got here is pigeon rotary magnet or pigeon magnet, magnet, uh, whirly. Uh, there's a lot of different names that people use for them. Um, <coughs> As you can see, I've set one arm up already. Um, these are just a couple of um, dead birds I had. Um, from yesterday, I had a walk round with the uh, air gun. Um, I think you, some of you guys might have seen the vid. vid. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and set up this second arm, and then I'll explain a little bit about it. Um, and what have you. So, These are fully extendable, come from a uh, UK shoot warehouse. Now a lot of the gear um, I've got, um, a lot of people might have different. Um, like I say, there is the, there's pigeon walkers, bouncers, flappers, peckers, fla um, mechanical flappers, the, the manual flappers where you pull strings. The, the list is endless. What I'll do, I'll put a few links in the bot in the description bar for you guys. Um, second bed. What some people do is snap the wing. Just helps it flap about a bit, but it's not necessary. We do. We'll just come round to this side so you can see this bit round here. on through the vent the back side turn it around and this head comes up push the head on it sticks on all the wing through and this one some of them have got the little crocodile teeth but this is a whole an old one an old set it's got the spike on, it puts the spike through the wing. And it just holds it on in that formation there so it looks like it's it's moving. Spread the tail feathers out a bit. That's it really on on the two dead birds. Come round here look. All we've got here is Two, two bolts drilled through. Um, you can make these yourself out of an old Metro uh, window wiper. All you do is just turn these in or out as to how low you want the dead bird. So if you want it low, if you're on, um, you can have one low, one high, um, or you can, or you can raise it right up. That sort of height. If you're shooting in something, um, I don't know, like big seed or um, standing crops, things like this. That. But this mid middle section here as well is fully extendable. Comes up about a foot as well. So you've got a foot there. So you've got two foot height. Plus you've got this. I'm nearly six foot, so it's nearly as tall as me. Um, what I tend to do is just keep it at a medium about that so that's on. so there's the the dead birds on each end um, what we've got here and this is a this is a speed controller uh, it's pretty self-explanatory really what you do is you connect the blue to the blue and the red to the red Connect the red one first, and then and then move just out the way. Pull that back, and connect the blue. And there you go, guys. It's uh, turning. That one doesn't look right, so I'll just I'll have to stop that one a minute. Bring on this one doesn't look right.
connect the blue one. But it doesn't matter what it looks like from our point of view, so from the bottom it doesn't matter. Um, this is on a bit of a slab as well, so this one here does look a little bit higher. I say this is a speed controller, so you can turn it right up, so it's moving really fast. Or you can turn it right down, so it looks like it's just moving. I reckon on about that. I reckon on about that is about right actually for all my needs that I use it for, whether it be on freshly sown rape like the field out there, um, spring drillings or anything like that, standing crops, um, flailed maize cover, um, anything that you might be shooting on I reckon that about that speed is about right. Unless there's a little bit more wind then I would say uh, turn it down a little bit or even turn it up. Um, well, like I say, just give it a try, see which way works best for you. Um, you'll get to know if the birds aren't liking it at the speed that it is. Um, if when they come in, they flick, flick and clear away. Um, what you want to do is put this, when you get it right, put this where you want to shoot the birds. So you set your hide up. You've got your hide, you've got your decoys. Put this where you want to shoot the birds. Don't put it at, you know, 60 yards out to the left because the birds, the, the pigeons that you're decoying, will go to that. So you're going to be trying to shoot at birds at 60, 70 yards away. Unless you've got two. That's a whole different story. I haven't got two, so I can't tell you. But one. So put this magnet where you want to shoot the birds. So you want them at 30 to 35 yards for the maximum killing range of a 12 bore shotgun shooting a 32 gram load of 60 so 35 say 30 30 yards to be on the safe side so put that decoys around it set your pattern up put this where you want to shoot the birds where you want it so out in front of your hide if you want to shoot them to the side shoot them to the side so that's that, so I'll leave you just watching that for a minute or two. I'll just turn that up, I think the battery's doing it actually. I'll just leave you watching that while I set this other one up. And this one's just a, a pigeon floater. A bouncer. A, I know Pinewood Sporty make these, shoot warehouse make them. This, this model also takes a dead bird. <coughs> so, there we go guys. This is a, well it's a flying foam pigeon, it's a little bit battered and bruised, um, it's just what happens when you've got van full of gear. This one just sits on, just sits on there like that. So that's your, your bouncer. What that'll do, as you can see now, just in this little bit of wind, it's just moving like that. So say you've got your decoys up in a semicircle like that, facing you because the wind's coming from your back, the ideal position. Put this, say, 40 to 50 yards away from the hide. So you're at the back of the pattern. So you're in the, in the, in the shoe like that. So you want it in this piece here. Um, the next video I'll be doing will be a bit more uh, more pictures or any, than anything. Um, but it'll be about the um, 
patterns that you can use. So there you go guys, two more bits of pieces of kit, your bouncer, and your rotary magnet. There you go guys. So it's like I say, keep watching for further productions. This is part three, keep your eye out for part four. Cheers guys.